week 15 we're carrying on with trig functions so so far we've learned about how the functions change if we move them up and down we have seen what happens when we squish them in other words we change the period or stretch them out also changing the period and we've seen how we can change the amplitude so we can make them very large or very small now we have to do our final change which is a horizontal shift so we're going to do it exactly like we did before where we're going to go and see what causes a horizontal change so we've got a basic y equals sine theta and we're again going to plot it like we've been doing in the last couple of lessons so again grade 11 so you guys should know how to do this in your sleep okay so I'm just gonna plot this off we sound effects are optional and I'm gonna do this one as well okay and if you don't know this by now, you're welcome to use your calculator and get these values. But luckily we've done it so many times, we know that sine of minus 360 is 0, sine of minus 270 is 1, sine of minus 180 is 0, sine of minus 90 is minus 1, then it goes 0, 1, 0, minus 1 and back to 0. Right, and the amplitude for this blue graph is 1. Okay, we know this because it is one unit away from the x-axis, from its line of 0 disturbance. The range is minus 1 to 1 and as always the period of your basic sine wave is 360 degrees, 360 degrees. Right, let's now look at the next one, which is sine of theta minus 90 degrees. Sine of theta minus 90 degrees. So let's pop it in our calculator and see what happens. So here's my calculator. So we're going to go sine, and again, grade 11s, please make sure that your calculator is always on degrees. So it's sine of bracket minus 360 minus 90 okay and what does that give us that gives us minus 1 minus 1 so this is minus 1 let's do minus 270 so sine of bracket minus 270 minus 90 is going to give us 0 okay 0 sine of bracket minus 180 minus 90 is giving us 1 sine of bracket minus 90 minus 90 is giving us 0 0 okay let's just do a couple more so sine of bracket 0 minus 90 bracket is giving us minus 1 so do you see a pattern here do you see that this is going over there that's going over there that's going over there this is going over there okay let's see what happens so at minus 360 we're at minus 1 at 270, we're now at 0. At minus 180, we're now at minus 1. At minus 90, we're now back at 0. <clears throat> and at naught, we're now back at minus 1. So the graph is now looking like this. So what has happened? Do you see that where it would normally be at minus 360 is now at minus 270 where it would normally be at minus 270 is now at minus 180 so what has happened the graph has actually shifted over what way it shifted over to the right by 90 degrees okay so what has happened this has shifted over shifted over to the right by that many degrees by the 90 degrees okay let's just finish this to make sure we're right so now we want sine of bracket 90 minus 90 which is 0 
which we expected because if that was the, going to follow the pattern, this should be 0. So therefore, what's 180 going to be? 180 should be 1. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so this is going to be sine of bracket, sorry, 180 minus 90, which is 1. Yay, so we were right. That's going to be 1, that's going to be 0, and that's going to be minus 1. So if we put this in our, that's going to be 0, 1, 0, minus 1. So there we go there. Now grade 11, this one was quite easy to see because I've shifted it over my 90 degrees, which is the gap between these numbers. So we could see a pretty pattern, okay, and it was nice and easy to see that it shifted over to the right by 90 degrees. You'll notice the amplitude is still 1, the range is still minus 1, 1, and the period hasn't changed from here to yeah, we're still going through 360 degrees. The period has not changed. All that has happened is that we have shifted the graph over to the right by 90 degrees. So therefore this year is now still a period of 360. Let's now look at this next one which is slightly different because this time I've not just gone plus, but I've gone plus 60. So it's not going to be as nice as the previous one where we've had exactly the same numbers. But let's see what happens. So let's do this. So we're going to start off on the left hand side and we're going to go sine of bracket minus 360 plus 60. Oh, that's not 360. 360 plus 60. And what do we get? We get 0 0.87. So that's 0 0.87. Okay. Sine of bracket minus 270 plus 60 is 0 0.5. That's 0 0.5. Sine of bracket minus 180 plus 60 equals minus 0 0.87 minus 0 0.87 sine of minus 90 plus 60 close bracket equals minus 0 0.5. Okay, we're starting to see a pattern here. Sine of bracket not not we don't really need to write that, but anyway, plus 60 plus 60 close bracket is equal to 0 0.86, that's 0 0.87 sine of bracket, what is that, 90 plus 60, close bracket, is equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, okay, so we're starting to go down again, okay, sine of bracket 180 plus 60 is equal to minus 0 0.86 minus 0 0.86 okay sine of bracket 270 plus 60 is equal to minus 0 0.5 and then lastly sine of 360 sine of bracket 360 plus 60 bracket equals 0 0.86 0 0.87 again okay so let's plot these points and see what we've got so at minus 360 we've got 0 0.87 so that's a 1 that's 0 0.5 so it's about here sine of minus 270 is 1 
then we got minus 180 we down to minus 0 0.87 so we've crossed somewhere over here somewhere over here we've crossed then at minus 90 we back down to minus 0 0.5 so we've turned somewhere there then at 0 we're at 0 0.87 again so somewhere we've crossed and then we back down to 0 0.5 at 90 and then at 180 we minus 0 0.87 again then at 270 we're at minus 0 0.5 and at 360 we're up again at 0.87 so we're finding out that we're crossing this graph and finding the peaks but we don't know where they are so there's a little trick that I want you to think of do you agree that the maximum value of sine of 90 was usually at, at sine 90 we were at 1 so how would we get this to be the same of sine 90 do you agree at sine 30 if I just plugged in the value of 30 degrees here if I put 30 degrees in here and I plug that into this we would have the same of sine 90 so let's try that okay so we're gonna go sine of bracket 30 plus 60 okay which equals 1 so what are we saying we're saying at 30 degrees this has got a peak of 1 so that there's 90 so this is about that's 90 that's 45 this is about 30 that's got a peak of 1 over there so we now know that this graph is peaking up there and going through there where does it normally go through 0 it normally goes through 0 at 180 okay so what plus 180 what plus 60 gives us 180 is 120 so I'm going to choose a number over there at 120 let's see if that gives me 0 so I'm gonna go sine of bracket 120 plus 60 is going to give me 0 so that means that at 120 degrees this is 90 that's gonna be 135 so that's about 120 it's going through 0 at 180 it's not quite at the end so where do you expect your zero to be it's going to be the equivalent of 270 so that's going to be 270 minus 60 which is 210 degrees so do you see what's actually happening this graph has actually moved over it's moved over and which way has it moved over to do you see that normally normally it would be at zero over here but now where is it at zero so let's look again at your minus 60 your minus 60 if we got sine of bracket minus 60 plus 60 do you see that that's zero so what has happened this graph at minus 60 we are at zero okay so at minus 60 which is about over here we are now back at zero and it's going to carry on doing this so let me just see if I can get this right so what has happened is that this graph has shifted over to the left by 60 degrees it's shifted over to the left by 60 degrees let's try minus 120 so let's go shift tab sine of bracket minus 120 that's not going to actually work okay it's my minus 120 plus 60 that gives us minus 0 0.87 again so minus 120 so that's minus 90 that's a minus is going to give us that so that's there okay we want it to be at minus 180 so we now we have to add 60 to that becomes minus 240 so if I go sine of bracket minus 240 plus 60 I get naught so at minus 240 minus 240 which is about over here we get naught it's over there so therefore this is doing this type of thing so 
grade 11s, do you see that what has happened is that this graph has shifted over to the left by 60 degrees. And what I was doing when plotting these numbers is I realized that it was changing. It is getting up to its amplitude of 1 and to its amplitude of minus 1. Okay, but I couldn't see where it was doing that. So I had to manipulate it to equal these values. Okay, but now the easy thing for you guys to do when you drawing this is to realize that if it's a minus 90, it's moved it over by 90 degrees. So whatever it would be at zero, it's now going to be at 90 degrees. So wherever it would normally be at zero, it's now going to be at 90. Wherever it would normally be at 90, it's now going to be at 180. If this has been moved over to the left by 60, then all you have to realize is wherever it would be at zero, it's now going to be at minus 60. Wherever it would normally be at 90, it's now going to be at 90 minus 60, which equals 30 degrees. So you can see that here at 30 degrees, at 30 degrees, it's at one, where it would normally be at one at 90. So that's all you need to really realize with this graph. And again, the amplitude hasn't changed, the range hasn't changed, and the period hasn't changed. So what is the effect of P? The effect of P is that if P is greater than zero, okay, what are we doing? We are shifting the graph which way? Think about this, okay? Let's go back for a second. If theta is greater than zero, we're shifting the graph to the left, whereas if theta is smaller than zero, we shift the graph to the right. So if it's greater than zero, we're shifting the graph to the left, Okay, here's the original graph, and now it's, look where it's been gone to, it's moved this way. If it is smaller than zero, it has shifted to the right. So there was the original graph, and you can see that the new graph has shifted this way. So let's summarize. Your new standard form, grade 11th, for the sine graph is y is equal to a sine k theta plus p plus q. Now remember, they're only allowed to change two things at one time in your curriculum, so don't panic about this. Okay, your amplitude, we know, increases or decreases the size of this. So if you've got a is bigger than 1, we've got a very big amplitude, and if A is smaller than 1, we've got a teeny amplitude. K, we've just spoken about in the last lesson on the sine period, and that's your period. And remember that if the K was greater than 0, what happened? Your period decreased, but if K was, well, let's make that bigger than 1. If your K was smaller than 1, in other words, as a fraction, your period increased, your horizontal shift, we've just said, what did we say? We said that if it is positive, it moved to the left. So if it was positive, it moved to the left, whereas if it's negative, it moves to the right. And the vertical shift, we know if it's positive, it moves up, and if it's negative, it moves down. Now, grade 11, the best thing is not just to learn what these shifts do, but actually to understand exactly how these shifts change. And you need to be able to not only draw the new graphs, but you must also be able to, if you're given a graph, translate what the changes were. Right, grade 11s, that is the final form of the sine graph. Please go practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day. Thank <music> you.